Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another speed belt video of Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sandbox Mode. Today we are going to have a pretty short episode because we're obviously waiting for the new DLC to drop tomorrow while I'm recording this. So today we are going to add two habitats to our park. One habitat for the Spinosaurus and the Compies, and one habitat for the Indominus Rex. Since we started a Jurassic tour ride in the previous episodes, we are obviously going to expand this track ride through these new habitats that we're making. And we are also going through a little corner of the aviary that we built in the previous episode for the uh, Pteranodon and the Geosternbergia. Uh, I actually wasn't really aware that you were able to add the track ride through these aviaries, which is actually really cool. Uh, Elsa would have like made this a uh, longer track through this whole aviary, obviously. But now I didn't want to ruin like the whole area that we already built inside of it. So yeah, that's why it's just like this little corner going through the little aviary. But thank you for the person that was pointing it out to me. I honestly had no idea. So I do really like it that you are able to uh, to add these track rides as well through at least the aviary. I I, I don't think you can through the lagoon. No, that would be a little bit silly, but at least you can through the habitats done and the aviaries itself. So that's really nice. So the last open space that we still have in our park, we will obviously be filling up with the new dinosaurs of the new pack. And I will also try and see if we can maybe use some of the new buildings or maybe replace a thing or two in this park. And after that, we basically finish this up. So I'm probably going to finish this all up in a day or two. And then obviously we're going to do a little park tour to check everything out. And then we might just start a new biome, a new sandbox uh, park somewhere else and see what else we can do there. I think that's going to be fun to have like a completely different environment, different, different biome instead of this more tropical biome that we are working in right now. So in one section uh, between the habitats, I did put down like this little restaurant area, just one food shop, fun, run drink shop and like a restroom and a little terrace I added later. I don't think you will see that in the speedboat video, but... It is there, just a little seating area for the guests to chill and relax as well. Like I didn't have too much space there, but I did want to give them a little bit more buildings to fulfill their needs, I guess. So yeah, with the end of this big build video already here, like I said, it's going to be a very short one because we're basically only adding two uh, more habitats and then the next one, we're going to use the new DLC. So I'm very excited for that. So yeah, with the end of this big build video right over here, let me uh, just jump into the park and let me just show you guys around. All right, so for reference, this is the entrance. The trek ride is starting all the way right over here in the middle of the park. Uh, so we have the aviary right over here. And I first had like this track just going through these uh, this foresty area. But right now we have a little corner right over here. <laughs> it's a really little corner. Uh, but yeah, I just don't really feel like... Uh, adding the track and go right through it while we already have water and stuff inside of here. I, I think you should basically actually just add this ride through a bigger aviary. I don't really think that this is the size, to be completely honest, to go through. Um, but yeah, okay, for the idea, we go through this aviary right over here. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. We don't have any gates yet. I think that is the issue they are having right over here. I think I'm just gonna squeeze one in here. And can we also just add one, maybe a little bit more in the back side? All right. So uh, this side, we have the Spinosaurus and some compies running around. I did see that the, the Spinosaurus uh, is able to handle these... Uh, <laughs> Well, where are they actually? They're so small. <laughs> I love it that we have such small animals in here. Isn't that just great? Oh god, it, <laughs> the, the grass is just so long, you can barely see them. It's insane. All right, let's just go to the Spinosaurus because the Spinosaurus I have not seen yet. Oh my goodness. Gosh, you look amazing and scary as well. But you look so beautiful. Oh my goodness. 
I only added one in here, I think, because you can only add um, incubate one at a time. My goodness, you are amazing. You look beautiful. Uh, so yeah, we only have one. I actually don't know if you can add more of them. I will look into that before the next episode, but oh, look at these animations, by the way. Oh my goodness. This looks insane, isn't it? With the graphics and all. Oh wow. I'm 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 a little bit speechless. I I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Really really love it. That's insane. Are we able to uh, to check out some compies now? Like they're just so super duper duper tiny. <laughs> it's so hard to see in the grass. <laughs> I hate them in Ark, by the way. I absolutely hate them. <laughs> Tell me if you agree if you play Ark. I absolutely hate these guys. But it's so hard to, to check them out because they're just so tiny whiny. It requires a status check. Well, that should be all right now. Now we have the uh, the gate into the habitat. So obviously we have some more uh, water in here. We even have this fish feeder, which I actually would love to see used by the Spinosaurus, but I don't think that we are very lucky. <laughs> uh, so right over here, so we have this aviary right over here, and then you go like so through right over here and then we have uh, a drink shop and a food shop we have a little terrace right over here we have a little roundabout here like uh, just because we can <laughs> i guess with a rock and then we have a viewing gallery right over here and a viewing gallery right over here and then we have the indominus rex oh 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 <gasps> oh you missed it <gasps> oh my god you got it Oh my god, that poor goat. Oh my god, I can't believe that we saw this action. Oh my god, I feel so lucky. <laughs> I guess you all have seen this 100 times, but this is the first time I'm seeing this. It looks absolutely, oh my god, this one looks so freaky. Oh my freaking god. Oh, oh, oh my god, okay. <laughs> if this just continues. Then, uh, <laughs> that's good, I guess. Then, then we can uh, constantly see you eating goats. Oh, there's another one. Is he just constantly going to eat that? The poor goat. <gasps> it is. Oh my god. Okay. Now it's not unique anymore. <laughs> poor goats. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, so uh, yeah, we have uh, we have a goat feeder in here. Uh, there are still twenty one more goats to go, but well, we're not going to check out twenty one more goats, I guess. <laughs> oh, I freaking god! Seriously, that's just insane, though. I'm not really sure. That might be just sandbox mode that it just constantly <laughs> is going to eat these goats. Uh, but yeah, I am, uh, as I already said in the previous episodes, I, I'm not really a huge fan of the terrain painting, so um, I don't really feel like it really makes a difference with, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I don't know. I feel like many things just feel the same, and I think that's why we should just uh, go and jump into a new bio once this one is finished. I think that is going to uh, work out really well to get like a different vibe going on instead of all this uh, tropical stuff right over here i do really like this area there are more guests right over here now because this is also connected now to a viewing gallery i think so right now there's more reason for guests also to uh, head over here and uh, can we see if there are okay there are no visible dinosaurs yet so no we are going to use this whole area right over here for um the new DLC, we probably are going to replace some of the buildings and stuff. I'm uh, not entirely sure yet what all will be new. Also, in the free update, we're gonna get a lot of uh, new stuff in the free update. I think the DLC is only for dinosaurs, right? And then with the free update, we're getting a lot of uh, 
uh, changes, a lot of new buildings, and I think also a new lagoon or something like that. So we're definitely going to check it out and try to improve the park that we have right over here. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to check out the new DLC. I'm uh, very excited for that. Uh, leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and let me of course know in the comments down below what you guys think of this uh, new but a little bit shorter video. Let me know if you're excited for the new DLC dropping tomorrow. Subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to see more Jurassic World Evolution content. I definitely uh, have you covered at the moment. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!